when the Bible says that, that when God formed man, he, he formed, he, the Bible says he was created in the image and the likeness. That means he looked like God, but he also had God characteristics. So there are things that are in man that are like God. Y'all there? Adam was walking in it before he sinned. Sin is what causes us to separate from God, thereby the source of our power will come from us or Satan. It doesn't mean that we didn't still have God characteristics or talents or abilities. Those are, y'all not trying to catch what I'm saying. In every machine, every house or machine, you have talents and abilities. Those talents and abilities was only meant to work by the power of God. It's just like if you have a, this thing right here works by, if you plug it in a wall, it works by that power source. Say amen. If you unplug it from the wall and go plug it in a generator, uh, it'll still work, but it's just working from a different power source. Are you seeing what I'm saying? D d when I plug this in the wall and, I, and, and I'm beginning to use this, whatever, whatever energy is coming through this is, what, is what's going to cause this thing to function. Say amen. It, are y'all there? So when, when, when Adam was born as a creature being like God that has supernatural talents and abilities, you know he had them because he named everything. He had a, had a high memory. Even scientists know we only use a small percentage of our brain when we know Adam was using his whole brain. In other words, sin made us dumb. Disconnection from God made us dumb. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So are y'all there? So, so, so this body was created to do what God do. That's why the Bible says we're creating the image and the likeness. That's why he told Adam, whatever you say a thing is what it is. Amen. The same way I say a thing is is what it is. Amen. You are my son and my son does what I do. Amen. My son does what I do, right? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. So when Adam disconnected from God through sin, he, the, the, he still had talents and gifts that every man has in this, that, that was created in them when God formed them. Say amen. amen. But the source of the power is not the same. So a person that was a person that God created that has the gift to sing can still sing without the power of God. But the source that they're using, when that power comes out of them, it's going to pour to them whatever the power source they're using is. So if Satan, Satan uses, Satan can take the same talents or supernatural gifts that's in a person and give them his power and they'll begin to draw whatever Satan's will is. The same way when you when we when we get saved or born again and we yield back to God, yield back to the Holy Spirit, then we yield to his power. And when we begin to use whatever talents in us, they begin to draw the things of God or his will. This is why y'all dilemma so messed up. How can Jill Scott sing a song and make you feel something? And then she go over here and, and then and then and then and then uh, you go to church and you hear somebody singing a gospel song and it make you feel something. And you don't understand that both of them are powerful. Both, bo bo what you feeling is both supernatural. Supernatural doesn't necessarily mean it's good because it's supernatural. It just means there's a spiritual source that's manipulating you. Not manipulating, influencing. Influencing. Talk. Oh, y'all, I'm deeper than what y'all. Listen to me. Are y'all there? This is why people are deceived that, 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 that just because a person can make you feel good, even preachers can make you shout, but not truly be connected to a source, the correct source. Y'all don't want to talk about this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why many of you are, you confused today, and you're trying to figure out, well, why are they just so talented? They just so talented. Yes, they can be talented. The Bible says, listen, the gifts and calls of God are without repentance. In other words, if you don't serve God, he don't take those gifts away. Satan just plugs you in to his power. You'll still be able to draw. You'll still be able to sing. You'll still be able to act, but you'll just be doing it with his power. And the manifestation of using his power is going to be stealing, killing, and destroying. That's all he can create. As a matter of fact, the Bible says it like this. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. When you use your gifts with Satan's power source, you're going to have the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. People will admire you. Even saints, Christians won't know sometimes the difference between what power you have. Oh, y'all don't want to talk about this. But are y'all there? 
So now because we're living in this day and age where every success we think is God, all success is God now, we never question. Listen, we see the success, but we never question the source. Over in Africa, some of the richest men in Africa, even in this nation too, we just don't know, but some of the richest men in Africa have to constantly sacrifice humans to demons to keep their wealth. Yes. That's what human sacrifice is about. Those, some of the richest billion, there was, a, there was a pastor that had a man come to him. He was one of the richest men in Nigeria. And the brother said, listen, I'm the wealthiest man I know, but I'm tired. I, every so often, uh, his spirits torment me. I have to, if I don't sacrifice somebody, I'm going to lose everything. So he said, I need to be set free. He got set free, got saved. But look at all the people that died. Now, if that billionaire would have walked in anybody's church, they would have never questioned the source of his money. They would never, y'all not hearing me. They would have never questioned the source of his success, not realize that the minute that that source of, that, the minute that his the, the minute that whatever he has touches your life, it's going to bring about the curse that because he's of a different source. Nobody wants to understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. Let me show you if you don't believe it's true. Remember when Judas went, betrayed Jesus for that silver and all of a sudden uh, Judas went back to the, to, the, to the priest and said, listen, no, 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 here, take your money back. I want to do it. The priest, the priest said, oh, we don't want the money. Why? They understood it's blood money. It's cursed money. This money, if whoever touches this money, they said, bury it in the field. Bury it with them. We don't want to touch this money because the money is cursed. This money was, what, this money was the down payment on the death ritual. They don't might want to talk. See, spiritual warfare is greater than we think. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Y'all talk back to me. See, this is the reason why we must understand. Don't just go with success. Question the source. It's not enough to be successful. Are y'all there? Oh, boy. Let's go back. Let me, let me get done. Let me get done real quick. Have you ever wondered why Satan puts his, most of his stuff in wealth and shiny things and success because he knows people the Bible says men only look at the outside but God looks through that facade and sees what's behind it what spirit is this person worshiping for real they may not go home and fall on their knees and get before a statue or no call out no demon name but their life is in agreement with, with the source of the power listen their life is in agreement with the source of the power. Let me say it again. Their life is in agreement with the source of the power. Are you, are you ready for me? Oh, boy. Now, now, now what I'm going to say is going to blow you away. You ready? Come on, you ready? The most successful people, the greatest artists, singers, the greatest businessmen, are the people who have the greatest ability to receive the supernatural. I, I don't mind, see, the supernatural is not necessarily God. It's not necessarily Satan. It's just supernatural. It's the spirit world. In other words, they can receive signals from the spirit world because we've learned now, if you really want to study it out, no art or music just comes from a person's mind. Everything comes as an idea and a thought. There's only two different forces that you're going to receive from. Talk to me or don't talk to me. There's only two different forces you're going to receive from. This is the reason why the most famous of these artists are the ones that if you listen and go back and study what they're saying, they will tell you that they had the ability to, to, to channel or hear. So the, so the most famous people, if you study the actors, I was just looking at a documentary on these actors, the greatest actors like Meryl Streep and Leonardo DiCaprio, them type of people, and they say these people, the reason they say these people are so, uh, they, the reason why they're so good is because they have the ability to open up as a muse. 
a muse is a is it was a is a Greek term for what they used to do. It, it's like in a play how a person or would literally open themselves. Then the real understanding was they would open themselves up for a spirit to inhabit them and act out. The spirit would act itself through them. Now what that they called it muse or a musine. We call it channeling. The people in uh, voodoo, they they call it uh, racist. That's called voodoo, where they get themselves in a frenzy till a spirit shows up and inhabits somebody, and the spirit acts out its will through a person. So when you hear Jay Z say, "Well, just open the door and let God come in," what he's saying is. I go and listen, I'm telling you, he says he go whenever you hear these rap, all these artists are saying the same thing. They go into their Rain Man thing. What they talking about, if you understand what Rain Man is, Rain Man was oh, come from the movie Rain Man, but what, what the spirit of Rain Man really is is when a person gets to stuttering and muttering and they channeling. They channel they conjuring up something. And they, that's why they get to the music. The music, they get to the music, they self channel they con all of a sudden then they come to them. Michael Jackson said he used to sit at the piano and all of a sudden it would come to him. All these songs would come spiritually. It's channeling. The greatest artists are the ones that have the ability to channel. Because every song, music, word has a source. It comes from an idea. Oh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, I always wondered that because I knew people in the world that could sing lustful songs and make me make the goosebumps come. And then I went to church and I heard gospel music and I said, well, that's kind of the same. I, I, I didn't understand why I was, I'm inspirational. But then the Holy Spirit said, wait a minute, think now. When they sing and make you feel something, what is it you want to do? You felt the goosebumps. You felt the supernatural touch. Luther and them used to do it. They can make you feel this supernatural feeling. Amen. But what is it you want to do? Amen. Because what you want to do determines the source they're using. Uh. Is this too much? That's why you got to listen to this gospel music. Because now they're singing gospel with, a, with the wrong source. And that's why you listen to some of it. What do you want to do? Like, shoot, this is, man, this is, ready, ready, go out. Because it's the wrong source. Even the beats and rhythm came from somebody with, that was plugged into nothing. Just See, some of y'all don't know this because you don't know, know music. But if you knew music, you know nothing just comes to you. You don't, you, you, listen. You have a gift. Say, I'm gifted. Everybody's gifted. Right? But the inspiration has to come. Let, let's, let's, let's do this. You ready? Let me give you the best illustration I can give you. You ready? Let's say you are a trumpet. You're a trumpet. Let's say you, you're, you physically, you're a trumpet, right? You are, it doesn't matter that you are a trumpet. You have the capacity to make a sound but uh, because you are an instrument. Say amen. But you need a source to blow through you in order to make the sound. Talk to me. So, light can blow through you. And when light blows through you as a trumpet, the sound that comes out is going to be a sound of light. Darkness can blow through you, and what's going to come out is going to be darkness. You're just an instrument. The source determines what comes out. Too deep. Too deep. I'm, I'm, you know, do y'all know what? I, you know, even while I'm going this way, you know why I'm telling y'all this? Because I watch. Look at the award shows. Look at how we are bamboozled because we don't understand the source 
of these famous people who we believe in more than we believe in God. We don't understand it. Because we've always been taught that anything that we're doing that brings success must be good. So even the people that are being used of Satan will stand up and say, I want to thank God. Because Satan doesn't care that they're deceived, that they think God is using them. They don't, he don't care. Because the effect, the effect is happening whether they, whatever, no matter what they say, they're amused. They're a puppet being used. But when, but, but, but when they get up and saying that the little girls want to take their clothes off, it doesn't matter whether the person saying it thinks God is using them or not. The effect is still the same. Amen. Me and my wife was in Tennessee. We was in Nashville one time. And we, had, we met Justin Bieber's mother. We was, in, we was in Nashville. We was at a church and she was there. It was right when he blew up. Right when he blew up, he was, his mother was at a church. And she was talking about he was a Christian. And, and you know, he's, and, 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 you know he's, and there was a pastor there talking about they're going to pray for him. You know, so that he would do well in the entertainment industry. And there was another, it was another famous guy there called Ricky Skaggs. He's a famous country guy. And he looked like, what? Pray for him to do what? Pray for him to go into Babylon? He's like, what you think going to happen to him? Yeah, he was cute and innocent when he came out. Now he's tattooed up. He's, he, he's a, why? Because, see, it, now, now what they didn't realize, it don't matter how cute this boy was, when he sung, little girls took their clothes off and got lustful. It don't matter how, 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 how innocent he seemed, when, when, he, when, it, when the source came through him, it spoke to them, and they all of a sudden, these little 12-year-old girls, was falling out lustful. So the effect was the same. Oh. So we looked at his mama. I, I was going to tell her, like, honey, I'm, I, I didn't want to say nothing wrong. I'm like, but I'll give it three years. And that's about three years ago, and this is what's happening to him now. So how are you going to go in the industry and you think that they're not going to corrupt and pervert you to the core. This is too much. All right. Now, 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 now. Let me, oh, Lord, let me help, help me, please. Let me get on. What was I at here? I was at James 3, 5. Okay, I was done with that. Okay, let me, get, let me give you one more scripture and I'll be done. Go over to... Uh, 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 Go over to 1 Peter 5. 1 Peter 5, and we're going to close early. Hallelujah. Are y'all learning anything? Yeah. Part of the problem that people don't understand is uh, Satan's people are people that have a bloodline of people that have worshipped him their whole, their whole bloodline, their whole generations have worshipped him. These are the ones that he keeps in power and famous and full of money. If you study the rich, that's why if you just look at the richest people in the world and did look at their lineage and who they really are, let's use Bill Gates for one. Can we just use Bill Gates? Well, I didn't know this because Bill Gates is like an innocent little nerd. I didn't, know, I didn't know what Bill Gates was about. When I studied who Bill Gates was, I found out his father was a grandmaster, 33rd degree Freemason in the CIA and part of the Illuminati. I didn't know that about him. And when I found out uh, the, uh, the Apple dude, his father was the same. They was both Freemasons. Bill Gates traced his bloodline all the way back. These people are the richest people in the world. The Zuckerman over Facebook, same thing. The, 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 the queen and all of them royalty over in England, all of them are part of the same, uh, the same I want to say tribe almost, because they trace their bloodlines all the way back. And the people that get in power are allowed to be. Amen. Uh, listen to me. They are allowed to be. The ones that get famous are allowed Amen. to be. Amen. What y'all think these idol shows is about? It's showing you they making who they want. Because before they go, before you become famous, that you have to have a certain spiritual mind to be famous. You have to have some rejection. You have to have some because you need to have a, 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 what they call affectation. A, you have to have a complex of wanting people to like you because you have such a low self worth 
that you will do whatever it is to be like. That's what they need. Because when they tell you to sign these contracts that's really covenants, and these contracts are covenants, and they tell you that you have just entered into a covenant, say amen, a person ain't going to think twice because they want to be loved. That's why all these artists later on, they talk about how bad their life is, they own drugs, they commit suicide, because they found out fame was only a trap to use the gift, the raw gift that God put in them to influence the masses to, for Satan's ideas to be pushed. Uh, Y'all want to talk. So when you go back and you look at the Bilderbergers and you look at, uh, these are the feet of people, uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 what's his name? Um, um, the Rockefellers. The Rothschilds. These families trace their lineage, some of them all the way back to the pyramids. These people have been rich all their life because they have a supernatural connection to Lucifer. And Lucifer, Satan constantly gives them wealth. And what does Satan do? He gives them information. They take the invention. See, oh, y'all want to, y'all, can we talk? Y'all don't want to talk about this. These, that, that's why people like Einstein, they always say it just came. And then you find out what was their belief. They was atheists, agnostics. Uh, they, was, uh, they was in some of the worst type of sexual pedophilia. And, all. and then these are the people that just channel and receive this idea that changes the world, that they get billions of dollars off of it. Y'all there? Can we talk or not talk? And so, so, so anybody that has any influence is allowed to have influence. The reason why you and I can't get rich because they put stuff in place to keep us from getting wealthy unless we join a club. This is what, this is what, this is the reason why in every college they pick off the brightest, most talented and, and they hunt them down to make them join those societies and join those, those fraternities and sororities. And those fraternities and sororities have their origin in Freemasonry. Every, one, every last one of them. Once they pledge, they just pledge to some deity God and then they have their allegiance to their fraternity. No matter what they say about God, Christ, they release it to their fraternity, and when the elitists and the people in high positions want to do something, they pick from those people who already know how to have, keep secrets, who already have sold out, who already have made a blood covenant. Y'all don't want to talk about this. And this is the reason why no matter how good and talented and good you are, people like that don't get nowhere unless they go into one of these societies. So go study the black Greek society and you'll find out why we're the way we are. Most of the preachers in this city are part of these societies. Most mega church preachers are part of these black fraternities. And this is called the Boule. The Boule is the black clan. They was put in place over blacks to keep blacks down. The white people chose those blacks, those educated Morehouse, Howard College, Toluca, Tuskegee type cats, they put they 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 get they, they formed a fraternity under the Prince Hall Freemasons and came up with the Divine Nine, which is all of them alphas and kappas and betas and sigmas and sci fi's and all that. And those are the ones that they keep in as gatekeepers over the black people. That's the reason why we can't rise. Jesse Jackson is a, is a, I think he's Sigma Phi, and he's a high-degree Freemason. Al Sharp, the high-degree Freemason. Name a black that's in a high position. Obama's a 33rd-degree Freemason. Nobody knows these things, but when they want to do something, they pick out of that because they need somebody that's already in allegiance with the elitist goal to put over us. That's why we can't rise. Now, I know y'all didn't know that, and that's why I'm always in a debate with folk, because they don't study enough to know. They go off of face value. Why come all these black leaders and we ain't rose at all? We can't come up. Why? Because these people are part of, soon as somebody becomes effective, they kill them. If they can't buy them, they kill them. And buying them means they're going to let them in an exclusive club. Come in this club. Once he comes in that secret society, they'll make him rich and famous but he'll be ineffective. Because what is Satan really purchasing? Oh, can we talk, y'all? Oh, if y'all can see what I'm trying to tell y'all. What is he really purchasing? 
No, 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 no. He's not purchasing souls. No, he no, he no. And he's not purchasing souls. He, souls are the price. Souls are the cost. What he's purchasing is influence. He's purchasing influence. Anybody that has the ability to influence. That's why some of the greatest, that's why you see the most, the, the, some of the richest people and the most famous people are comedians. Because comedians have the greatest ability to influence. A comedian could sit there and use humor. See, y'all think humor is humor, but humor, so much truth comes through, hum, through comedians. That's why Satan has to get every comedian in line with him. That's why when a comedian gets famous, he got to get a two, three movie deal. Got to get him a sitcom. They keep him in the industry. And keep him controlled because he can stand there and release some truth that even though people are laughing, they'll receive the truth. That's why Satan controls comedians. Because they, they're the only ones that can stand there like I'm doing and talk to you. And, and talk to your head. So he uses, that's why they got to be vulgar and nasty. uses causes them to be so, so degrading because they have an ability to influence so he purchases influence by saying, take this deal. What did he give Christ? What did he try to offer him? Influence. I'll put you over the world. I'll put you over all of this to be under you. Everything you see. Influence. He's the purchaser of influence. That's why I don't get caught up on fame. And I know them people just sold their influence. He paying them good. But he's paying them for their influence. These NBA cats, no matter how much you think they good, when you they walk in billboards, they walk in influence. This is the image I want to get into the hearts of the young black men. So I want them to look like sex crazed, tattooed up beast. I want them to look like this aggressive and ferocious as they can be. And they paying them billions for it, millions for their influence. So because I told you that talent. It doesn't matter if they sing, play ball. It's still a gift that was put in them. And Satan is using influence. Oh, nobody wants to talk about this. Can anybody see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to show you there's another world going on. While y'all watching the one world, he's doing something else. While you watching this, he's over doing something else. You have to learn to be discerning. Look behind stuff. What is this? Talk to me. Let me go. What I say? First Peter. First Peter 5. Y'all there? I'm going to give you this scripture, and I'm going to give you one more, and I'm going to close. Can y'all handle that? I'm going to try to keep my commentary limited. Look at First Peter 5. Y'all there? It says, be sober, be vigilant. Be Say, be sober. be sober. That don't mean this people naturally drinking and getting high, even though that is a problem, but that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about Say serious. Look at things seriously. Everything ain't a laughing joke. Everything ain't funny. Some stuff you need to look at seriously. People think that we as Christians are, are just angry and hateful. No, we're serious. I look at something and see what's behind it. Why many people just say, oh, this ain't nothing. When I first saw Lil Demon, Lil Wayne, when I first saw him, no, I'm serious. When I, when I first saw I'm talking about way back, hot boys. I'm talking about way back. Way back, juvenile. I'm talking about way that, that back then. When I first saw him and I heard him, and I first heard him, I, I, never, I didn't see him first. I heard him first. I, I, I didn't see him. I heard him. Because I heard him other cats, and they couldn't really rap. I, just, I heard him. And I heard I, I said, this is going to be a terrible thing. I said, this boy's gifted. I said, this boy's gifted. He's a channeler. I so said, he has the ability to receive spirit supernatural. He's yielded more because what causes a person to yield more is trauma. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. See, he takes up, remember I was talking, teaching y'all about MK Ultra. They showed how to create a person in, like the Manchurian Candidate. That's true stuff. They know how to create a person and make them into an assassin or whatever they want them to be. They start when they're young and they traumatize them real early as a child. When a person is real traumatized at a child, I told you, they develop another personality. They got to have a way of escape. When a person does that, that's when they try to develop a way of escape. That's where spirits come in. The trauma causes them to yield. A person that will yield will yield more to a spirit, and they'll be able to receive better signals. That's why they know Michael Jackson was raped and molested, and that's why he was a great channeler. 
If these people are channelers, y'all listen to what I'm saying. Y'all know Earth, One and Five, that guy, Maurice White, he was a channeler. That's the reason why all that music was so infectious. But what did it do? What did you want to do? That's the question. So you know what a source is because what did you want to do when you heard it? You can, if you, if you can sit down and listen to Al Green. You feel like drinking. It's something about this stuff. There are some songs make you want drink. There are some songs make you want to get high. There are some songs that make you want to have sex. And they ain't singing about sex and they ain't singing about getting high. But that's what you feel. And why? Because that's, that's the spirit coming through the, the source of the music. They're just, a, they're just a muse, a channeler. I'm helping y'all. I'm helping y'all. You need to hear what I'm trying to teach y'all. This is why you can be saved right now, as saved as you want to be. But if you go out here and start listening to something, especially some world, and then you listen to something you used to listen to, a feeling will come over you like you, would, you can, it would, you could go way back. Music is spiritual. And you're going to get the spirit of the artist. There was a brother that does, he does a lot of videos and he does a lot of preaching. And he was talking about how he was a youth pastor and how he was saying, he, he, he had a session with these young people and he was asking the little girls, he said, what do y'all like about Beyonce for real? What do y'all really like about her? And one little young girl was honest and she said, you know, you know, I, we like, I like her but it's something about her that makes me want to be with her. I don't know what it is, but I just want to be with her. Because there's a spirit coming through that music. There's a spirit of lesbianism coming through that music. Even girls are infatuated with this girl. Girls lust this girl. It ain't just men. Girls are lusting her too. Because there's this, whatever source she's coming out of, it's bringing that spirit with her. We know the source is called Sasha. Y'all remember she said who's it? Okay. Sasha's a demon. Y'all do know she said who it was. Y'all do know she said that spirit comes in her. So y'all come on, y'all. Uh, maybe that's why it's so dangerous in their love. Dangerous because these demons. And you got the two top channelers married. Y'all ain't figured this out yet either. He's at this top channel. That's what's wrong. That's why Kanye losing his mind because he's channeling. Chan he was a Christian. His mama was a Christian. He knew Christianity. But all of a sudden, he got in the industry, and you can't be in there. And he was so, he, he was, he's perfect. He's insecure. He's, 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 he's inadequate. And he, he, was, he was really a little nerdy, nerdy boy. And he wanted to fit in with the thugs, so he had to beat. So he was willing to do whatever. He's like that little dog running around Spike. How you doing, Spike? I just want to be with you, Spike. Where are we going today, Spike? You know, he's, he, he needs affirmation. So this spirit of affectation is on him where he needs to be affirmed. See, that's what happens when you don't grow up with fathers. You want to be famous. You want to be somebody because you don't know you somebody. So Satan make you a deal. Sell me your influence and I'll make you famous. Does any, oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. This was, that's why people got to get delivered, get set free from these spirits of inadequacy and these spirits of pride and get set free from all of that rejection. Make you want to be somebody. And the reason why these are your favorite artists, you want me to tell you why? Because the spirit that they operate out of is the spirit you live out of. That's why when I heard Tupac, I just took to it. Why? This same fatherless Fatherless, inadequate, rejected boy was channeling this same source, the same spirit was coming out of him and what was affecting what was in me. Because I had the same spirit. So it was speaking to me. Does anybody want to talk? Study for yourself. It's enough, it's enough on YouTube about that. You don't believe, you just don't want to believe it. You just, you just, you just, you know, some people, and some people, you know, they ain't going to believe it. They just going to believe what they want to believe. They like them too much. That's their hero. It's hard for people to go against their idols. It's hard to, they, they do not go against their idol. They'll fight you over their idol. I'm just trying to tell you, look at it. Now, it's so bad that now their idols are telling them. They're telling them, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, his, the name is Roman. It's a demon in me called Roman. Lady Gaga said, yeah, I'm channeling my dead auntie. They, they're telling you. Oprah said, I channeled the spirits of the dead and ancestors. Denzel said, I channeled the dead. They're telling people.
people. But nobody wants to do oh, but that. We don't care because our idols make being demon possessed sexy. <laughs> Think about it. People now go. Now, rock and roll was started. All these white boys got possessed because they found out about Robert Johnson. The first black dude that went down to the crossroads in Mississippi and sold his soul to the devil, and the devil gave him that ability to play. He's the father of the Delta Blues, and he learned to play within a month after he ch channeled and sold his soul. He came back, and they said he was the greatest guitar and, and blues player uh, ever. And these white boys came all the way from England, all the way down to, what's that, Jackson? What's, what, what's that, Crawford, Mississippi, somewhere down in there? And they went to the, to the crossroads and sold their soul to be able to play. He made, he made, that's, that, think about how messed up it, he made selling, being possessed look sexy. He died a terrible death. Somebody killed him for messing with his wife. See, this is the, the, you know, Satan stuff and all his career, if you, know, if you haven't heard his music, was all about hellhounds on my trail, on my, on my trail. Hellhounds. Oh, he knew, he knew he sold his soul. He knew, he said, I know where I'm going. He always talked about going and dying and going to, because he knew what he did. He made a deal. Jerry Lee Lewis, they knew he made a deal. Jerry Lee Lewis said, I'm going to hell. He said, I know what I'm doing. I sold my soul to, to be able to play this way. Goodness gracious, Great Balls of Fire was about going to hell. When, he, when y'all heard that song, it was so, yeah, da, 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 you're right on my brain. Goodness gracious, he, was talk, it was, he told, he said, I wrote that it was about going to hell. He said, I, he said one day I was asleep, woke up and seen a big ball of flame. He meant, and what it meant was, I lived so fast, no, 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 you're right on my brain. And then I lived till I died. And then I woke up one day, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. He knew he was going to hell. All these artists is what they've done. The only, Satan, he buys their influence to influence the masses. Because you'll do what your idols do. Oh, now you're talking about warfare. There's warfare right there. Stand on your feet, I'm done. I ain't going to go no further. That's enough. Are y'all there? Satan's job is to ride you till you die, then you go to hell. That's his job. He uses an influence that you'll look up to till you die. This is why some people, have you ever seen where some people are famous on top of the world and all of a sudden they go get saved and nobody will know why they did that? Because all that time that person knew. They knew their soul was not right with God. And they knew what they had done to get that fame. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now we're living in a day where we cannot look at success. We must look at the source.